Are you curious about what it's really like living in Anaheim Colony Park? Well, I've sold dozens of homes here in this community and well, I have the personal inside scoop of it. So coming from a local, make sure you stay tuned to find out what it's really like living here, the pros and the cons, the good, bad and the ugly. So first of all, it's obvious that this is a very beautiful community. It's very well maintained, there's greenery everywhere, and it's just beautiful. So you walk in and it's just clean and really homey. So on the flip side, this is a condo community. Well, mostly condos. Most of the condos are attached. And if you're detached or in one of the single family homes, you are really close to your neighbors. So you are living in close quarters with your neighbors. So some people don't like that, but you know, to each their own. One of the reasons I love it here is it's super pet friendly. There's a ton of neighbors that have pets, not just dogs. You see them walking their dogs, but you've also seen people walking their cats. And there's even a tortoise running around somewhere here. <laughs> There's also a dog park specifically for Colony Park. Only residents can use it. And there's a really nice park in the middle of the community. That's a really great spot to walk your dog to. So if there's mosquitoes. What's that, Toby? What's that? Oh, <laughs> Toby wanted me to remind you guys to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for more amazing videos, right? It's also easy to pick up your dog's poop because there's doggy poo poo stations everywhere. And some of the fun parts about having pets is entering your dogs into the doggy pet costume contest. So there's one for 4th of July and there's another one for Halloween. My little Toby's won the 4th of July once, so I was very proud of him for that. Okay, so the community is very pet friendly, but maybe it's too pet friendly for you? A lot of people have dogs and I don't know who does it, but some people don't pick up their poop, but I think that's in any community. But some of us great neighbors will pick up poop even if it's not their own. Own dogs because I'm not stepping on that <laughs> another negative is we do have pets that aren't actually pets there's feral cats running around this neighborhood my dog hates them you know maybe you just don't like pets maybe you don't like dogs there are dogs everywhere in the community so be aware of that so pro number three all of the amenities this community has to offer and very low HOA dues HOA dues are as of now less than $250 a month depending on the size of your unit it does vary amenities include there's three pools two spas fire pits barbecue areas there's a gym there's a dog park we already talked about we have security and obviously it's super well maintained and it's beautiful so that's all part of your HOA dues. So it's great that there's a lot of amenities too, but some people might not like the fact that there's trains close by. Maybe you're a light sleeper, but there are two different train lines that are through here. So you've got the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner and Metrolink on one side. It's a quick moving train, you hardly hear it, but some people, they can. There's also a slow moving train that goes down Olive and through Santa Ana Street. It's just a cargo train, it's very slow. It's actually kind of cool when you're driving down Santa Ana Street and it's going right next to you because you can drive right next to it. So that's really cool, but maybe it's too loud for you, but it only comes like once or twice a day. So another great perk about living here is all the community events that the HOA throws. It's a really close-knit group of neighbors here, so it's very easy to meet new neighbors at these events. And they have adult-only events, they have ones that are great for kids, ones that are great for pets. Some of my favorites are the movie nights in the summer, the outdoor movie nights. There's also a really fun 4th of July parade, Halloween parade as well. The Christmas party every year is amazing. So while it's great knowing all your neighbors, maybe it's not great that everyone knows you. Let's say you're in a hurry and you're walking your dog, you're on your way to work and you run into some neighbors and it's kind of hard because you get caught up and you're saying hi and you're like, oh shit, I'm late you want to go. So lastly, and probably my favorite reason of living here is the location. It is close to everything fun. You can walk, have a quick drive to wherever you need to go, eight minutes from Disney, and there's even a really good route that bypasses all of the tourist traffic. So I can share that on a later video, but it's also really convenient walking to the Anaheim Packing House. You can walk to the Center Street Promenade, or you can even take the Fran, free rides around the neighborhood, the free electric car on demand that takes you throughout downtown Anaheim. So that's a really good perk, having the stop here in Colony Park. We are in 
downtown Anaheim and well, any downtown area, parking sucks. If you park in your garage, you're fine, but let's say you're having people over. Yeah, I always tell my friends to Uber here <laughs> because on nights and weekends, it's really hard to find parking. So those are five pros and five cons about living in Anaheim Colony Park coming straight from a local. So if you still have questions about the community, send me an email, hello at ocmonica.com. Or if you wanna be notified about new homes coming up in Colony Park, just be sure to sign up in the link below. And uh, I guess we'll see you real soon.